Okay. Hey, shalom, 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 shalom. So we are out here again, you know, to preach out this truth. And first and foremost, before we start, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash. Our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Shalawam. Also to the few aquats who are sincerely, you know, seeking this truth. Shalawam. And y'all need to stay strong because, you know, we are almost at the end of this, of this journey, you know. So we are out here actually, you know, to, to push the truth to, to the elects of, of Israel, to the elects of the house of, of David, you know. And Yahab Hashem Yahushai willing, we are part of that number, you know. This is why we come out steadily, you know. We're praying for the mercy of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, so we could be counted amongst that number. That's why we're coming out. So this truth is not for everybody because, you know, as you can see, you know, many are called but few are chosen, you know. So we are actually here to teach, to preach this word to the to the elects of the house of Israel. And Yahweh Hashem Yahushai willing, you know, this work is going to be hastened and we'll be out of this place, you know. Yahab Hashem Yahushai willing, you know, next year, man, you know, this is the kind of spirit we should have. But, you know, as we're saying through the news, you know, lots of things are happening, you know. Um, how is it said, you know, um, um, and by so far, you know, we, we, we achieve, um, by, by struggling, by so far, we get into the kingdom. Okay. Um, if, if you can bring it out, you can bring it out, you know. So we know this is not an easy journey, you know. So we are here to encourage the brothers, you know, because the days that are coming are really mad days, you know. So this this teaching is actually becoming like a repetition, you know. The more we repeat, you know, the more the more the more familiar we get with this truth, and the more perfect we become, you know. So go. This is the book of Acts, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-two, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must through more tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Yahushai. Can so as you can see, our job is to is exalt the disciples, you know, to exalt the, the, the elect of the house of David, the house of Israel, Yashad Allah, the princes of the power. You know that much, through much tribulation we shall enter into the kingdom. You know, in this life, nothing is nothing good comes easily. You know. In this kingdom, if you want to get anything, you know, you really need to work hard to get it. And the same thing, you know, applies to the kingdom of heaven. You know, you really, you really need to, you really need to show yourself, you know, worthy of getting into that kingdom, you know. Any kind of person can't just get into the kingdom of heaven, you know. This is a kingdom selected for a few chosen. You can bring the book from Second Israel that said this world is created for a few, you know. This world that we are living now is created for many, but the kingdom that is yet to come, it's created for few you know and these few they need to go through the fire they need to be tested you know so bring it out I believe it's second book of Ezra uh, so anyway before as brother look for the for the scripture you know so we are here actually you know to exalt the elect of the house of Israel because many things are really going to happen, you know, and these things are really going to determine, you know, how strong our faith is in this truth. How, how rooted we are in this truth, you know, you have it? Okay, read. Okay. There be many created. Which book is that? This is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Can there be many created but few shall be saved you know and you also have the the same the same book of um of second Ezra that is telling you that you know the road that leads to life is so narrow that only one person at a time can go through that road man on the right hand you have water on the other side you have fire you have deep water and fire you know so this journey is not an easy journey and things that are about to come you know they are not they are not really easy things you know you really need a huge amount of faith you know in the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, that type of faith that the brothers have had, you know, Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, 
you know, that kind of faith that the Israelites, you know, had when they were going through, uh, when they were going through their process of cleansing, you know. So we need a huge amount of faith in, in order to be able to survive these days that are coming. So we're going, we're going to read from the book of um, Sirach. If you don't have any precepts now, you know, we go directly to the book of Sirach, chapter 2. You know, and we read from the top down, you know. Okay. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Can, you know. If you're coming to serve the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you you need to pre you know prepare your soul for temptation, man. You know many of us we've gone through different kinds of temptations, you know. Like you know, I always give a testimony of myself, you know, why coming into this truth at that brink, at that time when I was getting to know the truth, you know, I got a deal, a record deal, you know, a record deal that you know people of this world would be like, man, you're crazy, man, you're crazy, man. Why did you why why did you refuse such deal? You know, these are different temptations coming. You know, there are many brothers who have given up. You know, different jobs, different kinds of you know careers. You know, just to follow this truth, man. And by the spirit, we know that according to the scriptures, you know, whatever we lose in this in this kingdom shall be given to us a hundred folds back. You know, so to hell with whatever career we're looking for in this in this kingdom. To hell with anything. You know, some brothers are dealing with the smoking demon. You know, just like we all dealt with the smoking demon, myself and the brother right here, we all dealt with the smoking demon. And you know, the smoking demon is a demon that is very, very powerful and strong. You know, those are such demons in which you need fasting, you know, and prayer to chase those demons out. You know, these were different kinds of temptations. Sometimes you just freak out and you be like, man, why am I, why am I, why am I stressing myself? Why am I in this truth for nothing, man? You know, and just turn your back to the and turn your back to the plow, man. But woe unto those brothers, you know. Who, after they've known this truth, then later turn their back to the plow, man. The most high Yahweh Shemi Shai is going to destroy you, man. So we're calling you again. You still have time, you know. The room is still open. There is still space, you know. There is still space. There is still space for 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 for, for mercy, you know. So you should seek the most high Yahweh Shemi Shai while it still can, can be found, because there is space for mercy. You need to repent, give up this wickedness. And draw yourself close to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Or rather, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is the one who draws people close to him. So if you have a precept or if not, you continue. Yeah, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 13. Enter you at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And Can. many that be which go in their aid. Can. It says, enter through the gate which is narrow, man. And if you, if, you, if you go through the word narrow, it means, you know, it's straight, man, no comfort, man. Everyone needs space for themselves to be, to, be, to be able to move freely, you know. But you need to go through that road, which is narrow, man. And there's only few people that are going to go through it, man. You need to suffer, man, in this flesh, man. You need to give up many fleshly things, man. So you, you're, that you're trying to protect yourself from, from, from losing certain things, you can't get into the kingdom of heaven, man. It's not for you. Go. This is Sirach chapter 2, verse 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Can set thy heart aright, you know, and constantly endure. You know, like I always mention, many of brothers, you know, they don't have that spirit of enduring, man. They can't endure nothing. They can't endure pain. They can't endure struggles. They can't endure suffer, you know. So what do they end up doing? They sell their souls to the other side, man. Yeah. Many of them give up this part, this beautiful part that the Most High Yahweh Hashem as has prepared for them. You know, from the side of the world where we come from, you know, it's really easy to sell your soul to the devil, you know. Little boys of 16 years old already know how the process works. You know, you call on the devil, you do some rituals, blood or whatever, sacrifice, you know, and he gives you what you want, riches. But woe unto those who are setting their hearts in this kingdom, you know, who are, who, are, who are laying up their treasures in this kingdom, in which, you know, moths and rust can destroy, man. But the wise one, what are they going to do? They're going to lay their treasures up, you know, in the heavens, you know, in the kingdom that is about to come, where no thieves, no corruption can get to, man. 
and by doing this you know we're building our houses on on a firm um, firm um, foundation you know we're building our houses on a, on a rock foundation but the foolish they build their, their houses on, 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 on the sand foundation man so when this when the storm and the tempest comes it blows down the house because they put their hearts in this in this um in this in this paper notes man in which the real riches of, of this kingdom is meant to be gold and silver but the people are putting their hearts on papers you know that that's what's nothing man can't you see what's going on in um in venezuela and in many parts of the world they went through some super inflation that you know it's it, it's better for them to burn burn those stacks of money than to get wood to make themselves eat you know so this is just the foolishness of, of the sons of Israel, you know, for a little token, you know, they sell themselves and they give up because they don't want to endure. And what's the book of um, Revelation saying about, you know, um, because thou hast kept the, um, the word of my patience, you know, I would save thee, just roughly paraphrasing. As, uh, Revelation 3.10. 10. Revelation 3.10, okay. So you really need to constantly endure, you know, because this place is not meant to be our 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 abode of of enjoyment you know because we are under captivity and yahweh shai needs to save us from this captivity you know well, and there is you want me to read it? yeah just read what you have okay. this is revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou has kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which and. shall come upon all the world to try and. them that dwell upon the earth can because you have kept the word of the patient of Yahweh Shem Shai. because in this truth you really need to be patient man you know just like if you go back to the book of Sirach please you know and read that verse you just read we really need to be patient you know fret okay. not yourselves in the days of how, how, how is it saying this Sirach 2 verse 2 set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble can we are not meant to be making haste in time of trouble but what's going on you know many brothers are going to give up they're making haste in time of trouble they want to protect their jobs they want to protect their careers they want to protect their houses so they make haste and they get on the queue to get juiced up man so we walking walking as wise men you know we're meant to redeem the time and we are not making haste for these things we're walking in patience man because we need to endure. This place is not meant for our comfort, man. And our comfort is coming. Yeah, but Shem Yahushai, that Zawa part of that number, man. So go on, if you don't have any other precepts. Okay. This is Sirach 2, verse 3. Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou may be increased at the last end. Can. And this is our hope. Our hope is to be increased at the last end, man. That's why we're cleaving on to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. You know, how do you cleave on to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? In word. this word, man. That's Psalm 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the, the Most High shall, shall abide, abide under, under the, the shadow, shadow of the, the Almighty. Almighty. Man, if you abide in this truth, that's how you cleave on to the Most High and you're going to abide under His shadow. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to be a shield for you. So when this fairy darts, all this wickedness, these missiles are dropping, all different plagues, farming are coming. You know, the Most High is going to give us at that time. He's not going to leave us behind, you know. So you have to cleave onto the Most High right now that you have the chance, you know. The gate is still open, there is still space, there is still much room, you know. We are out here bidding the people to come into, into the celebration of, 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 of the bride, you know. Because we are actually as um, we are actually the bride to 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 Yahweh Shai. We are the bride, and Yahweh Shai is the groom. Okay, so when it comes, we are going to get married to Yahweh Shai, which is you know, join. We are going to be joined to Yahweh Shai. Now Yahweh Shai is joined to the Father. He is born in the Father, which means he does the will of the Father. Whatever the Father wants him to do, it is it goes in hundred percent accordance with the Father, and that's how we want to be with Yahweh Shai, man. So there is still much room and we're calling on to you people, come, you know? So go on. This is Sirach 2 verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art charged to a, lower to a low state. Can't. Whatever is brought unto thee, take
take cheerfully because now the so-called uh, the Israelites who are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latinos, they are under, below in the society and they are suffering, man, you know? So be patient, don't, don't be hasty to go sell your soul and do something that is wrong just to get your comfort in this kingdom, man. The comfort is not here. Let's get the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5. We'll read from verse 5 down, you know? This is also telling us, you know, to take patiently what's coming, man. Hebrew, this is Hebrews 12, verse 5. And you have forgotten the exhortation who speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord. Can. No faith when thou art rebuke of him. Can. So the most high, what does it do? You know, just like, no, keep reading anyway. It's going to tell you everything. Keep reading. Verse 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourges every son whom he receiveth. Can. So now, if you have a child in this kingdom, and your child is just doing all sort of madness, bugged out things, you know, a little spanking of his eyes bring, brings his brain back to his normal thinking, you know? So the scripture says, spare, spare the rod Can. and spoil the child. Can. Spare the rod and spoil the child, man. That's what the scripture says, you know? So when you spare this, when you spare every stupidity that this child does, you know, you, you see your child, you know, he picks up a cigarette and he starts smoking. If you ignore it, if you don't, if you don't scourge him, if you don't, you know, rebuke him and, you know, spank him a little bit, you know, for what he does, the next time he's going to pick up weed and smoke, man. This is how it works. So the most I yah Hashem Yahushai for all the sins we've committed, and even in our past lives, man, you know, many of us we were really wicked, you know, many of us were really bad in our past life. We've committed all sorts of different sins that we're praying for the most I yah Hashem Yahushai to to be merciful unto us, not only for the sins we committed, we are committing now, we committed before coming to this show, but the sins we committed also in our past life, you know? So the Most High is actually punishing us, you know? He's making us straight, you know? We're going through the fire of, um, of purification, you know? Yeah, I, I, always, I always use Speak like, out, speak out. I always, I always lightning like, you know, in Africa, where we come, come from so-called Africa you know growing up I remember we we normally wash our clothes with hands you know like like this we scrub it we, we scrub the, the clothes so hard you know imagine imagine when you're scrubbing the clothes assuming the clothes is half a, a kind of a, a little a little breath in him he might he will be shouting you know so it's just like that you know when we are going through what we are going now it's not gonna be easy you know not easy it's just like washing clothes you know like this clothes now so you're, when you're scrubbing clothes it's, man it's hard it's painful you know so i, I know the scripture said that it, it, it doesn't seem joy joyous you know when we go through all these things but yeah the scripture also said that at the end that the the the, the, the glory that will reveal in us is far greater than you know the, the, the what we are whatever you are going through now is not even worthy to compare the glory that will reveal in us so we have to take it cheerfully as the brother said can. So you need we're going actually through this time of you know suffering just like the brother brought out this um example. If these clothes, while we wash them with our hands, while we scrub them, if they have breath in them, they'll be screaming and crying, man. So now we are actually screaming and crying because we're going through all hell, man. We are under under in the society, we're suffering, you know. Some brothers can barely, you know, can barely, you know, feed themselves all through the months, you know. But hey. This is what it is, man. The most I hear about Shemi Shai is purifying us. Read on. From Hebrew. Hebrew, yeah? I think you still have like... Okay. This is Hebrew 12, verse 7. If you endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For with, for with son is he whom the father chasteneth not. Meaning, ah. meaning, meaning like in this earthly father we have. Whenever we, we piss our father or whenever we go off, whenever we've done something wrong, our father always, you know, hit us with a cane. I remember when I was little, well, <laughs> my father always hit me. So, uh, so it's, it's, um, it's just the same thing as the Heavenly Father. You know, the scripture says he's the father of all spirits. Ah. You know, so 
just like just like normal thing here now. You know, we have our earthly father here. When we go off, he hit us with a rod. It's just the same thing. That's the way every father created these devils, you know, to you know, you know, to chasten us. God in, in his hand, you know. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, uh, King David said that uh, deliver me from the hand of the wicked, which is thy thy sword. Thy sword. So this devil is nothing but the the rod of the heavenly father. You know, we all have gone off. Now we, we are coming back, returning from our roots. We know what we've done in the past, and we know what we did in this time. So what we are going through now is nothing but correction. You know, we are going through correction, and the correction is not joyous, as the scripture says. So we all have to take it lightly, you know, cheerful, as the scripture, uh, as the scripture says, and also know that this is nothing but a trial. You know, you can't just say that you believe in the Heavenly Father without a try. No, it doesn't work that way. You can't get into the army without being tested. Exactly. There's no way you can be a soldier without going through, without going through uh, a trial. Right. You know? So it doesn't work that way. So whatever we are going through in this life, nothing but a trial. You know? Can't. But you see, the funny thing is, you know, Jake would never understand this thing, you know? The more Jake gets scourged, the more Jake, you know, goes away. And this is just history repeating itself from time to time, you know. We were carried away into captivity by the Assyrians. We were carried away into captivity by the Babylonians, you know. We were under in the, in the, in the society, you know, we were catching all sort of hell. But Jake would never remember, you know. Jake don't learn from the past, man. That's why, you know, um, there is a scripture in the book of Isaiah, you know. The Most High says, how, how long would I gather you as a, as a hen gathers a chick? You know? And the Most High even says, you know, in the book of Isaiah, I really don't remember which, where, where it is now. He say, he scourged these people for nothing, man. He's tired of, you know, <laughs> killing us and putting us into all this problem because Jake don't get it, man. Yeah, he don't get it. You know, like as the brother was saying, uh, 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 Most High, have, we have sinned against him and now he's, He's, he's chastening us, you know. So let me read this scripture. This is Psalm 14, verse 2. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. You know, like what brother was saying, you know, a lot of us are we have gone through hard time, you know, you know, we are going through a lot, but Jake don't don't consider, you know, to see or to seek or to ask, why am I going all this to, you know? Because Jake don't think, you know, we all gone through that, but call Bashin Yawasha, you know, we are waking us up. We are among the people who have have mercy upon, like he said that I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy upon. So we all believe that the mercy has been shown on to us and this is By the this time. Truth, the mercy has been shown on to of us. Of course, yeah. and through this truth, you know, the mercy has been shown on to us. So Yawasha said that uh, you have been clean through the word I was speaking on to you. So call Bashin Yawasha once again, you know. And as the brother just said, man, it's just like going into the book of um, Isaiah 1 3, man. You know, the ox and the, and, and the, and the, I'm just paraphrasing, you know, the ox, they know their owner, and the donkey is master's crib, you know, but Israel does not consider. It doesn't matter how much time the Most High scourges Israel, but the so called Negroes, Native Americans, Latinos, most of them, majority, two thirds are always going to be niggers, man. Two thirds are always going to be niggers. Two thirds are always going to sell their souls to these devils in order to just get some bread, man. So the, what, 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 what sense does it mean? Does it make you know getting bread from your enemy for a short time then die later, man? So man, we need to we need to hold strong and endure all these trials that the Most High Yahweh Shemi Al Shai has kept upon us. So go on. It's in the book of Sirach. Yes, Sirach. If you do, you still have more in that book of. Yeah, you can go on. This is, the, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is dry in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Can. You know, we've watched all different lessons by the elders, you know, regarding an Edomite bringing, you know, the example, the process that goes on, you know, in the purification of gold. Yeah. And they mention, they mention, they mention, um, they mention something, you know, that during that process of burning, purification, the smith needs to keep an eye on that gold because if he doesn't keep an eye on that gold, that gold is going to, you know, get destroyed. 
So believe me, the most that y'all about Shem Yahushai, we don't give you a trial that you can't stand well, get that scripture, you know? So every temptation that we go through, the most that Yahush by Shem Yahushai, believe that his eyes are on us, man. He would never let us go over more than the things that we can get, man. And in whatever situations you're going through now, you know, you're not the only one, man. All the brothers in this truth, they're all catching hell in one way or the other, man. Some brothers, they're going through health, health problems. Some brothers, you know, financial problems. All sorts of different kinds of problems, man. Okay, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There has no temptation taking you, but sought as command to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. But we, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear. Khan, so the most that you have at Shem is not going to give you any temptation that you're not able to bear, man. So some brothers will come with different, different excuses. Oh, I can't quit smoking. I can't quit doing this. I can't, I, can't, I can't quit, you know, using drugs. I can't quit from all these problems, you know. That's a lie, man. That's a lie. Because the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is not going to give you any temptation that you can't handle, man. Just like, just like, uh, just like a, a six-year-old child giving him a, a 50 kg, a 50 kg of, uh, a 50 kg of, uh, uh, of a weight. Of a weight. So it's not possible. How, how do you expect the child to walk with it? Can, can. This is a beautiful, you know, this is so a beautiful example. It doesn't make any sense. You know, like, I, this reminds me, you know, growing up in Nigeria, you know, we would go, we would go to fetch some water, you know, and I was little right then, you know, because we didn't have that supply very, very frequent in the area where I grew up, you know, so we would go out to fetch some water, you know, so you had the bigger, the bigger brothers in the group, you know, they had, they had 10, 25 liters of, of, um, of, of, of this um, um, containers, you know, to fetch that water. But the little ones, you can't give him that 25 liters in which someone that is grown up can carry. You give him maybe three or four liters or two liters, you know. So the most is not going to, it doesn't make sense that you, the most is going to take you, take you and give you all the weight that you can't bear, man. The most is also merciful, you should remember. Go on. So. This is Sirach 2 verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Can, can we get um, the book of Proverbs 17, 3? Just as a precept, you know. Proverbs 17, 3. This is Proverbs 17 verse 3. The finding pot is for silver, and the furnace of gold. But the Lord tries the heart. Can, and you see all these trials that we're going through, you know, that we're being, we're going through all this period of purification. The Most High is trying your heart, man. How are you going to stand right at the front of, you know, persecution? Are you at the last moment going to give up and denounce the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? and give in to the devils. What are you going to do when you find yourself in certain situations? Are you going to freak out, you know, and turn your back against the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai? But according to what we know, according to the Bible, the Most High has never turned his back on anyone who believes and trusts in him. So the Most High is going to try you, just like we said before getting into the military. Okay, you can't, they can't just take you in and say, okay, it doesn't matter how strong you look, or whatever no they put you through test man they put you through tread test man go on yeah this is this is the book of job even job even job told the lord that he's trying him you know he will come as a goat so this is job chapter 23 verse 10 but he knoweth the way that i take when he has tried me i shall come forth as gold can can so everything job is telling you that the most High is trying him, you know, he knows that he's suffering and everything is catching all hell, but he's going to come out as, like gold, man. And he also acknowledged that this is nothing but a trial. Can now get the, the book of Daniel chapter 12, man, because all these sufferings that we're going through is not for nothing, man. It's not for nothing. You can read from the first chapter down. This is Daniel 12 verse 1. And at that time, 
shall Michael stand up, the great prince, who standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Can this is the fate. No matter what we're going to go through, it's been told to us already that there's going to be a time of tribulation like never before. But always remember, they shall be delivered. Those who are found written in the book, man. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I, I, I said it. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I shall say it, you know, in the book of Matthew 24. You know, well, let me get it in a minute. Yeah, we'll go back to this, Daniel. Yeah. So you should just remember always that we are going to be saved no matter what, man. As long as our name is found written in the book of life. And how are you going to get yourself found in this book if you don't know this book, man? Many brothers don't, don't study that much, you know. They take this truth for just like entertainment, you know. But this truth is not entertainment, man. These words are life, man. <laughs> These words are going to save you, man. This is what is going to determine. This book is going to be what's going to determine what your hand is going to be, man. Found it. Okay. Okay, this is uh, Matthew 24, 21. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, no ever shall be. You know, it just, you know, this is a precept of backing up what Dana is saying. You know, ever since the world have created, what we are saying today now have never been before. Here in Italy, Today's nine, right? Today's nine. No, in this very month, October. Uh, within six days. You can yeah, within six days now, you can't do nothing. You know, without injecting the, you know, you know what? The serpent serum. Yeah. So it's very very <laughs> obvious. You know, venom. it's very very obvious that man, so, we are yeah, living in that time. I keep telling brothers since yesterday, man. If this is not the end, then what is it? Just like the elder Yashawamba says, if this is not the end, man, we're true. We are true. Because right we're now, true. we can't do nothing in this country. Because here in Italy, as we're saying, within six days, if you don't have the Vicky Venom, if you don't have the Vicky Pass, you can't even man, enter a train. You can't take a train. <laughs> you can't enter you a can't bus. You can't take a train. You can't take a bus. You know, you can't go to work because you're going to be fired after, after five days, they say. You know, without pay, man. You can't do nothing. So what are we meant to do? Are we meant to say, okay, man, we're just going to go in and do, you know, we're going to book an appointment and get the Vicky Venom. We're, we're mad men, man. Let everything just go to hell. We don't really give a damn, man. Exactly. If, we, if, we, if we don't have anywhere to sleep or live, man, the most I hear about Shemi Aosha is going to make way for us, man. Of course, of course. This is where our fate is, man. Of course. So this is what we're trying to let you brothers know, you know, it's, it's happening here in Italy in six days, you know, all hell is going to break loose. Then it's coming to Babylon the Great too. It's oh. coming to all parts of the Europe. Because you know, these beasts, you know, and those that give the power, their power to the beast, they move with one mind, man. They might, they, they might, have, they might be in different levels of this, of this implication. Some countries might have implicated these laws and some countries haven't yet. They be like, no, we're not going to do it. But just be sure that in no time they're going to get there. It's called gradualism, man. It's going to be all over Europe. It's like, going to be like, all like over Europe, Lutonia. even in Africa as well. In Lutonia. Lithuania, yeah. You remember the people who watch in Lutonia? In Lutonia, Lutonia right now, yeah. you can't buy. You can't even go to grocery shop. You can't go to the grocery you know? without the Vicky Venom. Yeah. So it's here. So this is the end. This is what we are saying. We believe this is it. You know, this is the great, we are, we are, we are in, you know, we are approaching the last, the last of the last. You Can, know? This is actually the great reset, and that great reset is the most that you have Hashem outside that's doing it, man. Yeah, you know, if you watch these people, they keep saying, do bad better, do bad better. What do you mean by do bad better? You know, in their mind, they need to destroy this war, because this is what, this is the same pattern they have been using, you know. 
in the dark ages, this is how they come. They destroy, they kill a lot of people in order to build back. You know, this is the same mentality they have. But right this time, <laughs> they don't know that they are, they are actually digging their grave. You know, they are actually digging their grave. This is the end. So, Mosai got them in the trick bag, like the brother used to say. Mosai <laughs> got them in the trick bag. bag. You know, they actually think that their kingdom is going to continue forever and ever, you know. So, but this is it. This is the end. You know? And it's really beautiful because it's going to seem like they're winning, man. Yeah. And this is just a test to you brothers, you know. The book of um, the book of Job tells you that at that moment, just paraphrasing, at that moment they're about to feel their belly, then sudden destruction is going to come upon them. So when they're about to feel their belly, it means that, you know, it's going to really seem like they're winning, man. And this is a, an extra test for you brothers because some brothers are going to give up, you know, right at the dime minute, man, which makes no sense. Some brothers are going to hold strong, then at the dying minute, that demon jumps on them and they believe that, oh man, this, this white man is willing, these devils are winning. I don't think this is going to happen anymore. I don't see any possibility there's going to be salvation for us. And they just give up, man. It's part of the test, man. So like what you just said in Job. This is Job 20 verse 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in threat. Right now, it's in straight. You know, Can, a, lot, a, lot, a, lot straight. Of, a lot of uh, uh, um, what do they call it? Protesting. You know? Protesting. Why, yeah. are people, why are people protesting? Because they are making life difficult for them. Government who's supposed to be the head? Who's supposed to be? And the, excuse me, the sorry. Father. People are protesting also because the man of sin is being made revealed. Exactly. Exactly. Now they know who who is ruling them. They know who who is making their life a living hell. You know, this is why they are protesting because life. As they know it that they used to live before it's no longer what it is you know so every hand of the wicked shall come upon him can now if you go if you go and look at the root word of that wicked it's not really the weak the wicked you know it's talking about every hand of the laborers that's what it means you know so every hand of the laborers are going to be on these people man so 23 when he shall when he is about to feel his belly Yabashin Yashai shall cast the fury upon his wrath. Wait, sorry, let me read it again. When he is about to feel his belly, Yabashin Yashai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him Can. and shall rend it upon him while he is eating. Can. So this is this is what I'm just still telling you, you know. For we know the devices of, of Satan, man. We are not ignorant, ignorant of his devices. Exactly. First Corinthians, you know. Yeah, Second Corinthians. Two Second, sorry, Second Corinthians two eleven, man. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices because there is going to get to a point. It's going to look like Satan is winning, man. It's yeah. going to look like these devils are winning, you know. So don't fall for it, man. That still goes back to what we've been saying: patience, man. Exactly. Just like what we read before in, yeah. in, in Acts fourteen verse twenty two, you know, confirming the souls of the disciples that we may too. Uh, uh, tribulation, more tribulation, enter into the kingdom Can. of God. So we know that these people are not going to win according to the world. The scriptures here say that when he's about to pay his belly, you know, Heavenly, Heavenly Father shall, shall cast him down. And we know that Heavenly Father said every word that proceeded out of his mouth shall not return unto him void, but shall heaven accomplish and earth everything shall, he Heaven and earth, earth shall, shall, pass, shall away. pass away, but the words of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushua would remain. Yeah, so we know this devil can win. You know, so there's no need. I can't see anything giving up in this. It's, you know, right now it's, it's better you, you you die than living in this hell because there's no life here. You know, what we know as life, man, is shit. Now we're waking up, we see the true life. You know, this is the life. You know, living in this world as we know it before is nothing but dead. You know, the proverbs say that. Uh, 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 uh. A man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain the congregation of the dead. So we are dead before now. We can see what life truly really means. So there's no need. I can't see anybody going, you know, maybe saying that, no, you have to go and take the thing in order to continue living. No, it doesn't make any sense. You know, it's rather you have the same mind as Shedra, Meshach, and bad Nego. You know, I always, I always, like Apostle Gabba said, when we read the scripture, we always have visualizes, you know. We always we see it. Yeah. You know, we are visionaries, that's why. Yeah, because this guy said that even if, if Mosai will not deliver them, it's better for them to die in the furnace, you know. Ah, for them to live and bow to the, uh, 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 the man-made uh, uh, statue, man. statue. 
cattle that have no bread, no life. You know, it makes no sense. And that's that's the spirit, you know, we brothers should be in, you know. Exactly. Because you know, the book of Revelation makes us to understand that, you know, some brothers are going to be beheaded, man. Of course. Many are going to be cast into the prison by the devil. Of course. You know? But hey, don't let this thing bug you out, man. Of course. This is the spirit you should have. Even if the most high is going to kill me, let it be, man. Exactly. Hold on, I have a piece of this so, is Revelation 2 verse 10. Fear none of those things which stars shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. Can the devil is going to cast most of us into the prison, and it's already, yeah. we're being told, man, this is the mercy of the most high Yahweh Hashem So we, you know? when this thing come upon us, don't, we don't need to be surprised because it is written. Somebody has to fulfill this part of the scripture, you know? So we are here to encourage ourselves, you know, the scripture says, uh, exalt thyself. Yeah. Exalt yourself. You know, this is nothing to build ourselves of, to always remind ourselves of what is written. You know, because whatever is written must, whatever the Lord said must surely come to pass. I think that uh, uh, Isaiah 55, you know. So there's nothing to fear. You know, even in the midst uh, uh, of our enemy. Uh, 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 King David said that. Uh, I rejoice in the midst of. That uh, through the through I walk to the valley of shadow of death, I, I fear, fear no evil. evil. This is the kind of mindset we need to have, knowing that everything we are going through, we are not the first people who have gone through all these things. The scripture said that whatever we are written for our time, we are written for our own learning, that we may through patience and comfort of the scripture my have hope. So whatever we are going through, we are not the first people that have gone through whatever we are going to or whatever we are going to go through. You know, our forefathers in the past have all gone through all these things. So this is the last leg of the book. You know, so this is not the time to give up. This is the time to win. You know, we, the scripture says we are a soldier of Yahweh, right? Yeah, you we know? are winners and conquerors. Man. Yeah, you know, yeah, it just remind me of yeah, conquerors. Yeah, but, but we are conquerors. Yeah, Apostle get Paul say, let me read the scriptures. Romans 8. Now let me start from eight. Speak up, bro. Keep preaching. Hold on. Okay. This is Romans eight. Let me start from that five. Verse that five. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. 36. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Aye. him that loved us. Aye. You know. So. What is he saying? No. no matter what Jake goes, goes through, yeah. okay, if we're going to be thrown into prisons, be killed or whatever, just like um, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego said, they don't care if they're going to be killed, you know, we're going to be more than conquerors, man, because at the end of the day, we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win. Yeah. So if you don't really have other precepts, you can go back to 12, yeah, on Daniel 12, because there are some points touch on that Daniel 12. Daniel 12. Should read it again. Yeah you can read from verse 1 again. So this is Daniel 12 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up the hey, great hey, prince. Sorry sorry Jake is really true man. Jake is true. Jake is walking you know in the open in the open you know with the with the diapers on man. Jake is really true man. So how are you going to how are you going to teach such Jakes man? These are people you know uh, how um, for my, we are sottish, man. Jake is sottish and foolish, man. Jake is true. You know, you're walking in the, in the open park, then you have the diapers on your nose, man. Then tell me how these people are going to respect the most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. They're scared of men, man. They're scared of catching uh, a sickness that's not even existing, man. <laughs> Please, sorry for cutting you short. So, keep reading. This is Daniel 12, verse 1. At that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince. Who standard for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble 
such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. So the main career, our main objective in this life, our main career is that to be found written on that book, man. Hey, trust me, everyone would want to find themselves written on that book when these missiles start dropping, man. <laughs> Everyone would want to be found written on that book when all hell break loose, you know. So how do you find yourself written in, in the book, you know? He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, you know. If you if you take this book as your as your direction, you know, you come out from all your madness, all these philosophies, you know, all these churches and all religions, you know, and abide by the truth, the word, which is life, you know. Those are the ways you can find yourself written on the book. But first of all, you have to be an Israelite. And first, even before being an Israelite, you have to be chosen by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to wake up in this truth. So we are actually begging for the Most High's mercy. We need to humble ourselves, man. They say, they say, um, what's it? Um, they say, um, there's a word that just skips my mind now. They say humility comes before. Yeah, humility. Humility comes before honor. Before honor, can? Humility comes before honor. Then we all need to humble ourselves, man. Read. Yeah, as your brother was saying, this is Romans 8, verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of Yahabashin Yahushai, they are the sons of God. Can? Those who are led by the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, those are the sons of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We didn't just wake up one day and decide to get into this truth, you know. Me, personally, I never even believed that I was going to be doing what I'm doing, coming out to teach on the road, you know, putting on these wet-looking garments and sackcloth. people looking at sackcloth and people looking at us like some mad people, you know. Oh, it's the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that brought me out of the darkness, which was ignorance. That I was, and the same thing for the brother, man. We used to be true, man. We yeah. used to smoke weed all day, you yeah. know, do all kinds of crazy things, you know. I never, under, I never believed that I could, have been, I, could, I could be having this kind of conversation five years ago, four years ago, even three years ago. <laughs> and this is what it is, man. This world is so powerful, it's weakness, even to the bone, to the spirit. It's this, it's this world that quickens, that wakens you, man. We were all dry bones like um, Ezekiel said, man. Then the Most High gave us his breath, you know, and we came back. Our bones started building up, started building up some flesh, some sinews, you know, and now we are alive, man. So those without this truth, you know, those who don't call the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai by his true name, not only that, those who don't do his will, you know, those who are tricking themselves because we still have many people in this truth, but it deep in their hearts, they are worse than the wicked, man. So it's the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that look at out the hearts of men, you know. And there is you can't you can't play smart on the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai because many people think they can play smart on the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It's impossible, man. He gave you the breath. He created you. So how can you play smart? How can the axe boast to its to, to its cutter? How can the axe boast to he who is using it to chop down a stick and boast that no? How can a pot Boast to it to the, to the pot maker, you know. So we all need to check ourselves constantly, man. Examine if we're in the yourself. truth, we need to check ourselves constantly, you know. Examine yourselves, man, because many of us, you know, we believe we're in this truth, but the spirit is not really dealing with us, man. So you really need to check yourself because on that day, just like we say, you would really want to find yourself written on that book, man. And you know, you know, the scripture says, you know, two shall be in a field, you know, walking, one is going to be beamed up, you know. People are really going to start getting beamed up on that day and everyone will be expecting to be beamed up next, man. And then you're going to know, man, you don't fucked up all your life. <laughs> so we're praying, man. Yah Bashem Yao Shai we are part of that number. We've been humble, man. But um, King David said, Six, um, um, search my heart, search me, man, for hidden sins that we don't know. Search my heart for hidden sins, man. If there is anything that I'm doing that's not right in the, in, in the sight of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Father, reprove me, search it out. Because, man, as I'm saying, 
as I'm saying, you know, you don't want to miss out on this kingdom that is coming, man. And you don't really want to partake of the destruction that is coming. Better to say, you know, you got something? Yeah. Like we were saying, uh, uh, King David says, search me. You know? Speak out, speak out. David said, uh, yeah, say, oh. David said, search me, you know, pour me. Press, me. Press, press me a new spirit. You know? So this is exactly where we are. You know, Heavenly Father does not wake us up for us to start doing our own thing. No. He has to cleanse us. You know, he says his ways are not our ways. His thoughts Watch are not... Watch me clean with high soap, man. Yeah, his thoughts are not our thoughts. What is hey, let me read. Let, let, me, let me read that for you. That's... Um, the book of um, Isaiah, his thoughts are not yeah, thoughts. 55, man. Let me read it for you. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. Is it? No. Oh, it's not 55. Is it? Yeah, it's 55, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 55. Yeah, it is. I'm going to read. I'm going to read from verse 6. Yeah, read it says, six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Explain. Yeah. You know, like the scripture says, Seek ye the Lord while he might be found. You know, how are we seeking the Lord? By this word. You know, the scripture says that many are called, but few are, few chosen. are chosen. You know, so we got to. He had uh, uh, hacking onto this world by doing according to what is written. You know, in where, we are, where we came from before Christianity, they always taught us about love, love, you know, God love everybody. But when we return, we now find out that no, it's not about love. You know, the true love according to the scripture. Yahweh shall say, if you love me, keep my keep commandments. My commandment. You know, so this is what it means by seek the Lord. When you seek the Lord, the scripture say that, uh, 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 seek you the kingdom of God and his righteousness. First, you know, his first. righteousness. We got to know what Heavenly Father wants. You know, not what we want. Continue, bro. And to add, and to add, you know, you all need to seek the Lord while he still might be found, because right. you know, this kingdom is the kingdom of the wicked, and your means of getting this truth is about to be shut down. Exactly. So seek him now. Verse seven, Isaiah fifty-five seven. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man is taught, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh Shemiahoshai, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon, pardon him. Exactly. Let the wicked forsake his way. What is wicked? You know, the scripture people. say that. The scripture say that. Uh, uh, Amongst uh, my people have found many wickedness. Yeah, among my people have found many wickedness. And what is truly a sin? You know, for you to be a wicked, in other words, you are breaking the law. You know, this is what got us into where we are today. You know, scripture said that uh, he would uh, break the law, also transgress the, the, he would sin, also transgress the law. law. So this is what you mean by a wicked man forsake his ways. When we forsake his way, it's no longer, I thought, I thought it should be this way, I thought. No, it's according to this word. This is how you know the Lord. This is how you seek the Lord. This is how you, you truly, when you say you know somebody, in other words, you got to come close to him. We got to know him, you know, know what he like, know what he dislike. This is what it means by knowing someone. So this is what the scripture is telling us. When we return, the scripture says we should seek him ten times more. So we have a job to do by hacking. You know, say it's the whole rule. Yeah, it's the whole rule. We got to study, you know, listen and know what to do and know what not to do. You know, no longer what we used to do, what we thought. You know, it's what the Lord thought. His thought. It's his way. You know, the scriptures. Uh, 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 wait, let me read this scripture. For you. Okay. Okay, that's the scripture. Okay, there's that twelve verse. Uh, 13. Oh, I got it. I got it here. Okay. Okay. I don't want to close this too. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes 12, 13. I have it too. If you want, I'll okay, read it for you. Read it, read it. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh power. And keep his commandments, for this is the world duty of man. Yeah, this is why we are created. You know, this is what Heavenly Father wants us to do. He created this world. He wants us to be in charge and control of this world. You know, how do we do it? There's a way, there's a law of life. You know, he gave us law. You know, there's a way we're supposed to approach the world, approach the earth. 
to take care of everything, including animal. But today is not what it is. You know, the, 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 the people who are in charge of this world today is nothing but the wicked. You know, because how do we know it? By seeking, by forsaking our ways, as the scripture says. Go back to Isaiah 50. Okay. Isaiah 55. You know. Repeat it again, sorry. He said, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Yeah, you know, in this world we see that they create Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all these things. Now we know that this is nothing but worshipping idols. This is not what Heavenly Father gave us according to Deuteronomy 4, where he gave us laws. You know, so this is what we seek now. This is what makes us, you know, holy and separate from the rest of the world. So this is what it means by seeking the Lord. And it says, And let him return unto the Lord Yehovah Hashem Yahushai, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Of course. You no, know, the you most know. High is quick to, the most High is quick to, to, uh, to have mercy, man. Yeah. You know, he's quick to save, you know. So the most High is merciful. No matter how much things you've done in this life, no matter how much you've gone against this these commandments and you've all wickedness that you've done man ask for forgiveness and don't go back to your wicked ways sorry i just wanted to add that yeah because this whole thing is nothing but teachers both sides you know the good side and the bad side because for us to be a true god as the scriptures say we got to know the both side you know now we have learned the forbidden fruit as our ancestors from adam and eve you know earth you know now we understand what they did the fruit that was forbidden which is this the law you know they forbid the law they go contrary to the way of the most high so now we are seeking the, the lord with our mind the bible says that we should seek him with all the whole of us mind body and soul so now we understand his way his thoughts you know this is what we are called to do as the brother said so go on so i should go on yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are, my, are your ways my ways, said Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because his ways are not the ways of this world. Presently, the way it's run, you know, this is not his ways. For example, now, when you walk around, you, when you see a man now, so many men here, so many men in this present world don't have a BS. You know, so it makes no sense. Every father created a man. When you see a man, you look upon him, you know that this is a man. He put a, a, a difference between a man and a woman. You know, but this will teach you how to cut off your beard. This is sin. This is breaking the law. This is one of, you know, one of the, 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 the sin we committed, right. you know, breaking the law. They teach you how to cut off your, you know, you shave off everything. Why the scripture tell us not, you know. So another one is what, uh, uh, right now, what they are uh, encouraging everybody to do, to do sin. Juicing, you know yeah. why the scripture tell us not to uh, make cuttings in our flesh yeah cutting in our flesh you know if you really think about it we are not supposed to allow anything pain needle injection to go through our body you know but we don't know all these things but Damn. now we are waking up now we know now we say no we are not taking this thing now they are, they are going to see us as uh, 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 they're going to deem us as uh, 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 um, as traitors as traitors you know or terrorists yeah, very soon it will come to that. That's why the scripture tells us that the devil shall cast some of you into prison. You know, can. the devil can't just put you into prison for nothing. Because what we are doing, we are standing up against his word. You know, because his word is not according to the way Yahweh Shin Yahushai gave us. You know, can. so we are returning back to the old path, as the scripture told us. You know? So. As I read earlier, you know, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And in order to add to what the brother said, you know, many brothers believe that they got everything figured out, man. People be thinking that they got everything figured out. <laughs> but your ways are not, <laughs> the way the most I thinks is different from the way a man can think, you know. You might believe you got everything figured out, then you might be deceiving yourself, man. It's not one day for the most high a thousand years for us, exactly. you know, our ways are totally different, you know. So it says, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than, the way, and, than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts, you know. So as the heavens are higher than the earth, you know, like we haven't even found everything that is under the water, 
we haven't even found everything that is under the, the ocean, you know? Neither to think about how many planets. Every day they tell you they discover new planets, you know? So if we haven't even discovered all these things that are on Earth, we can't even discover the most high Abashinyao Shai. His ways were so vast, different from our ways. So you see all these scientists, they speak like they got everything figured out, you know? And these are the people that, you know, that, that many Jakes are going after, you know? But what does the Bible say? You know, if the blind leadeth the blind, they both shall, they, they shall both fall into a pit, man. So let me continue reading. This is verse 10. It says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven returneth not either, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth, and board, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the time in the thing where though I sent it. Yeah. So meaning everything this book said, everything Yahba Shin Yahushai said will come to pass. So we have nothing to fear. You know, whatever is happening now is not the first time because the scripture said, uh, read that Ecclesiastes 1 uh, 9. You know, whatever had been. Uh, Let me read it for yeah. you, Ecclesiastes. So we have nothing to fear because we have been groomed for this very time. You know, this is what we have built up for this very time. It says, so, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one, verse nine. The thing that had been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. There's no new thing under the sun. So we know that the thing is man, you know, is the spirit. Yeah. So meaning whatever we are going through or we're going to go through in the past in i mean in the future in the near future it's not we are not the first this is not the first time you know it's been done remember heavenly father flooded the world with with, uh, with the water right why because of the sin so the same thing is happening he he, he destroyed uh, sodom and gomorrah because of so-called L, L, lgbt i you know alphabet you, people alphabet people so it's everything is recycling you know everything is happening over and over and over again but this is the last you know this is the last time it's going to happen I mean wickedness because both sides created the war and give it to beasts of a nation to rule you know because we we messed up we should have been in our own hand you know started from the days of uh, adam so, but now, as we are returning, you know, we are learning the old path. Let me read this scripture. This is Jeremiah 6, verse 16. God says the Lord, stand you in the ways and see and ask for the old path. We are his good way and walk therein. And you shall find rest for your souls. But they say we will not walk therein. So, as we have returned, you know, as the scripture said, prophesy in, in, in Ezekiel 37, that we will return in the last days, you know, even in the Baru. So we are seeking the old ways, you know, we are seeking for the ways of the Lord, as the brother read before, you know, the thoughts and the ways of the Lord, you know. Me, personally, I, I, I used to tell this brother, me, back in Nigeria, I remember uh, uh, the, the verse you read before. As heaven is bigger than the earth. So, um, you know, let me read it right? for you. Yeah. You see, that very part. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, yeah. and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yeah. Me personally, <laughs> that time I didn't know anything, you know, but I was like, I was Z, I was curious. I was always wanting to know this. You know, that time I used to know, because me, I don't normally read. So, I used to tell the most, uh, please. Speak to me in a way that I will understand. You know, I'll be, I will tell him like, maybe I'll be speaking to me and I'm not, I can't understand because look, because that time I'll, I'll come out, I'll look at the sky, man, <laughs> it's too high. <laughs> so I'll be wondering, imagine a being that is higher than me, then how can I understand what he's saying? Khan, and this is just humility, man, that yeah. we're speaking about, man. The pride of man is going to lead man to his destruction. This yeah. is humility, you know? Yeah. The brother was humble about it, you know? He was looking at everything and he'd be yeah. like, man, I don't understand this thing and I don't believe that all this thing was just, you know, set up there without any yeah. ar ar architect, you know? So this is the humility. The Most High, you know, kept the spirit to ponder on these things, you know? So that's how it works, man. The ways of the Most High are different from our ways, man. Exactly, you might exactly, be having bro. different plans and different things, you know, set aside. But then, at the end of the day, the Most High has a different plan. 
like we all had different plans at, the, at that certain period of our time. Many wanted to become doctors, many wanted to become musicians, many wanted to become whatever, but it all played out differently because the will of the Most High is going to exceed over your will. Exactly. So if we want to read the book of um, that's, um, Daniel, maybe 12-2, because there is a point we need to bring up from there, and maybe, you know, we need to close up for this. Yes. This is Daniel 12 verse 2. And many, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. God. Okay, many, this is, in, this is going to be in the kingdom, you know. Many are going to wake up to everlasting life and many to everlasting contempt, you know. So read verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that trust, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Can. So this is what this is what our 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 um, our career is actually is, you know. That's why we want to find ourselves being written in that book of life, you know. Because the most high is going to, you know, we're going to be bright forever, man. We're going to have wisdom of everything. We're going to have the knowledge of everything. Nobody's going to teach or preach in the kingdom because the, the wisdom is going to be there, you know. So there is a lot of benefits, you know, in walking in this truth and being humble about it and praying to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to, to see you true, man. There is a lot of benefits than the benefits that this devil has for you, you know. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is life eternal life, life everlasting, you know. So, hey, we are, we are actually here to exalt, you know, the brothers, you know. Lots of evil is about to come, you know. These days are really going to get really evil, you know. So we should walk circumspect, you know, be humble about it, you know. Pray to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to have mercy on us, you know. Do the best to our ability in this, in this ministry, you know. Because there is no longer much time and you should have faith, take patiently whatever comes on you. Sufferings are going to come, tribulations are going to come. But then, be faithful until the end, man. Be faithful until the end. Don't get to a certain point and believe that, oh, man, this, 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 this thing is getting too much. But remember what I said, it's a lie. That's the lie the devil is lying to you because the Most High is not going to give you temptations that you can't bear. You know? So anyway, the brother Yeg, you have it. Oh, I have one precept. Close it. There's one precept I need to bring out. What's the precept you're looking for? It said that strive unto death and the Lord shall give you a crown of um yeah. Strive unto death and the Lord shall give you a crown. Right. Okay, it, it. okay, okay. We are closing with this book. This is Sirah chapter 4, Read verse 28. Out. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Can strive for, for this truth, truth unto death, yes. man. And the most high Yahweh Shem Shai shall fight for thee. So how are we going to expect miracles when we're not finding ourselves in the straight, man? Miracles are not going to come when we are in our comfort zone. Exactly. Many brothers are going to discover they have special natural powers when they find themselves in a straight, man. And they find themselves, you know, at that moment that, you know, there is like almost there is no hope, man. That's when fate, uh, that's when miracles are going to happen. Exactly. You know? So, hey, fight for this truth unto the dead and the Most High shall give you a crown because, you know, that's the same thing many of our brothers did. And that's what, you know, the things that are written in this book are, are, are for time, you know, they are written for our learning, man. That's why you have the story of the Mark Beast brothers, you know, the story of um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the story of Daniel. And even you know, Yahweh Shai. Because even Yahweh Shai, man. Now we understand yeah. why Yahweh Shai was crucified. Yes, it is written that he will come, he will be the, 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 the peacemaker, the sacrifice 
to return us back to our father. But now we can see how this thing play out. You know, because the world is wicked. The world hated the world he was speaking. They hated him for what he was speaking because he represents light. So this same light is what we also bear because we carry, we are the, also the vessel, you know, Can, that carry the, the, the word. Because there, is, there is a scripture that says that the servant is not better than, than, than the master. Yeah, the scriptures also say that we are the body of, uh, 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 how did you say? We are the body, we are the body of the Lord, you know, something. Uh, we, are one, we are one in the body of your yeah. shy, you know. No. Oh. So if Yahweh Shai suffered all these tribulations, we are all definitely also going to suffer these tribulations, man. Exactly. You know? So hey, maybe you want those with You know, we hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit. You know. We'd like to give our praises to the most high. Yahweh I double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days pushing this truth. You know, hold on strong for salvation is closed, man. And remember, the scripture says, you know, when you shall see all these things happen, look up for salvation is closed. So, as, as the apostle Taha has given it a title of this year, the year of hastening the truth. Man, we should all be hastening this, this truth in the spirit, man. So having said this, Shalawam. Shalawam, bro. Shalawam. 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 Shalawam.